Hi, this is Paul with Avertium, and today I'm here to talk to you about the advanced persistent threat group known as Fancy Bear. But before I get too far in, I'd like to first discuss a personal frustration of mine related to the various different names our industry has for advanced persistent threats like Fancy Bear. Uh, this group specifically is tracked under no less than 15 different names, including APT28, Sandworm, Group 74, Cloud Atlas, Iron Twilight, Czar, and Pondstorm, which makes it really difficult to correlate one threat researcher's work to another's. I really wish we as an industry had common nomenclature for adversaries in the same way we have the MITRE ATT&CK framework to catalog their tactics, techniques, and procedures. Moreover, using names like Fancy Bear or Pondstorm to me has an effect of trivializing the real danger these groups present to the world. Uh, also, personifying threat actors with supervillain avatars and even action figures distributed at security conferences, to me, glorifies them in a way that the true heroes, those who seek to stop these APT groups, never do. Rant over, APT-28 is a dangerous threat known to be associated with Russia's GRU. Uh, that's the military intelligence arm of the Russian Federation, and they've been active since at least 2008, but almost certainly far longer than that. Uh, they're very focused on espionage activities against Western interests and other adversaries of the Russian Federation. And while much of their activity has been focused on government and military targets, they're also known to have targeted private sector victims in many industries, including aerospace and defense, chemicals and materials, energy and utilities, telecommunications, and more. Uh, in the United States, APT-28 is perhaps most infamous for its operation against the Democratic National Committee in the run-up to the 2016 election. Uh, this operation resulted in the leakage of a trove of information that certainly damaged Hillary Clinton's campaign and ultimately may have helped swing the election. Now, politics aside, this is a sophisticated group with many tools defenders must reckon with. Uh, indeed, over the history of the group, we've witnessed many operations with specific military objectives carried out against Russia's enemies, which of course include Ukraine. I've talked before about Russia's cyber capabilities being brought to bear on the battlefield, and most recently, APT-28 has been observed leveraging the Felina Windows vulnerability to compromise targets within Ukraine. Uh, now, this vulnerability exploits something in Windows called the Microsoft Diagnostic Tool, and it's a very dangerous vulnerability uh, because it, it's what's called a zero-click vulnerability. The victim simply has to hover over a malicious document to preview it uh, to be owned. Um, in this case, uh, APT-28 is leveraging a clever phishing campaign, which plays in the fear of a Russian nuclear strike to trick users into opening a malicious document, which then allows the threat group to access the compromised system remotely. And this goes from ordinary citizens to high-ranking political officials. So if you think about that, this access could be used for espionage or disruption. And you know, obviously the theft of military secrets would convey a significant battlefield advantage. Now, if you're wondering how something like that could apply to you, know that this group and others routinely target private sector organizations in the West to collect data, to laterally move between victim organizations, and ultimately to further Russia's interests. So while you may not think you're a good target for Russia's military intelligence arm, ask yourself a few questions. First, how do you support your local economy? How does your business interact with other businesses locally? How does that affect the broader United States economy or even the global economy? And what businesses either rely upon you or do you rely upon yourselves? The serious sanctions levied against Russia may be causing them to expand their victimology in ways that we don't yet know, but are sure to be a clear and present danger to all of us. Now, the best defense is always preparedness. So patch your systems, train your users in phishing defenses, and have a tested incident response plan. Preparing for an adversary like APD28 or Fancy Bear means that you can be prepared for anything. As always, remain vigilant and preparedness is paramount. Thank you.